Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the globe. My name is Raga. I am part of uh, the uh, Cloud Infrastructure Business Group at VMware. And today we have an exciting topic to talk about. We're going to talk about Project Monterey. Uh, as you all may be aware, uh, VMware, with its partners, has been working on Project Monterey for a couple of years now. And we officially launched vSphere 8 at Explore 2022. And as part of that release, we launched uh, feature sets for Project Monterey, which is officially now named as uh, VMware vSphere Distributed Services Engine. Um, today we have with us Parag Chakraborty, who is uh, a product manager at uh, Cloud Infrastructure Business Group, who is very closely uh, tied to Project Monterey and Distributed Services Engine. We have him here, so let's talk about uh, Distributed Services Engine and try to get some uh, insights uh, from his journey. Hey, Parag, how are you? Hi, Raghav. Good morning, good evening, and good day to folks out there. Uh, thank you for having me on this call. Glad to have you here, Parag. Uh, good to have you join us on this chat. Uh, so Parag, you've been very closely tied to Project Monterey, now officially called Distributed Services Engine. We wanted to understand from your vantage point, um, why did VMware decide to embark on this journey with Project Monterey? Can I walk us through your ideas? Sure, absolutely. So. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind as we talk about Monterey is if we look at our industry, our industry is going through a Cambrian explosion of innovation, both on the software side as well as on the silicon side. And a lot of this innovation has been primarily driven in the hyperscalers with the new generation workloads. You have all these kind of distributed applications like microservices and AI ML workloads they um, they have you know created new requirements on infrastructure and the silicon vendors have actually responded very well to the hyperscaler needs by creating new technologies such as the dpu yeah. now what we at vmware have seen is the opportunity for our customers in the private cloud in the data center and in the edge be able to take advantage of these technologies in their, in their environments. So Project Monterey is really about bringing all this new class of hardware and software innovation down into the data center, into the edge, um, and into private clouds. Okay, well, I heard a lot of hardware, I heard a lot of DPU, uh, but VMware is a software company. So help us understand how all these pieces uh, come together and what is the what kinds of business problems are we solving? All right. So let's let's start off by talking about the business problems, and then we'll talk about the technical aspects of the of the product. So when we talk about the business problems, the key problems that we are solving is the ability for our customers to do more with less hardware, and the ability to do that is actually being enabled by offloading some of the infrastructure services that typically run on CPUs onto the DPUs. Next. What we, want, what we are looking to do is make sure that everything that we design for the future is a lot more secure than where we are today. Here's another aspect that the uh, DPU helps our customers with, because we are able to actually secure uh, their traffic um, in hardware and, um, in, and basically protect the server a lot. And third um, is increase operational agility. Um, we are, this is a key piece of technology that has been adopted in the hyperscalers, which has ha enabled them to actually make uh, systems a lot more uh, fungible. And we are bringing that technology into the, into the data center uh, by, by building on, on DPUs. Excellent. So I heard at least three uh, major areas that we're focusing on around performance, around operational agility and around security. Do you have any sneak peek on performance advantages that you can share with the viewers? Maybe we could do a double click later on. Do you have anything that we can share? Sure, so um, you know, if, if you've seen some of the information we shared at VM, VMware Explore, we, we, show, you know, we demonstrated how DPUs can help customers save on CPU cores. And as more and more workloads become network centric, the value of the DPU uh, is kind of highlights where 
uh, you're able to save more CPU cores off the infrastructure services. Um, we should have some uh, pointers out there on our on our blogs and portals, which will go into the specifics of those numbers. Absolutely. So here, the advantages are either uh, higher workload consolidation or getting more performance from an infrastructure uh, networking packet processing kind of a perspective. So uh, it sounds like in this case, the customer can have the cake and eat it too. It's, it's really uh, the choice that we're providing to the customers, right? Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. That, that's, good to, that, that, that's good to understand. Um, can we talk a little bit about how all these pieces come together? What is the role played by VMware? What is the role played by the silicon vendors? And what is the role played by the OEM vendors? And how does VMware bring all those pieces together? And we stand behind this product and offer it to the customer. So let me take a step back and, and, and talk about how uh, the DPU technology has been uh, adopted in the hyperscalers and how um, it's different when customers in the data center and in the private cloud are going to adopt it, right? And that's where the key piece of innovation has, has happened. So when you look at a typical hyperscaler, they are building a full stack solution where they own the hardware, they own the software, and they only deliver services to their to their customers. So they have a they have full control on uh, what they put into their uh, into their hyperscaler environment. But if you look at um, our customers who are building private clouds, and, and they are basically uh, building their private clouds by using a multi-vendor solution. They may be building, they may be pro procuring hardware from, uh, you know, Dell, HP, or Lenovo, and they want the choice of being able to choose different kind of DPUs that are available in the market, such as, you know, the AMD Pensando, the NVIDIA Bluefield 2, and, you know, the upcoming Intel, uh, Intel DPU. Now, as VMware, we play the role of an ecosystem enabler, which enables, which will help our customers actually have a choice of a particular OEM vendor to work with and a DPU vendor to work with. Now, this, this sounds simple, but it's actually very complex because each one of these devices are unique and um, they bring their own value. The value that VMware brings to the table is standardizing the DPUs in the OEM systems. So our customers do not have to really change their day zero, day one, day two experience that they really love with vSphere. So we're playing an ecosystem role enabling all our hardware partners. So it becomes very easy for our customers to adopt a technology, which has been very, very successful in the hyperscaler world. Great. Uh, so it sounds like VMware is playing uh, a couple of roles here. One is, uh, we're bringing together an ecosystem of DPU vendors and OEM vendors. Not only that, um, the solutions are heterogeneous to begin with in terms of their capabilities, but with, with the vSphere uh, product line and the features that we're exposing through vSphere, uh, we are homogenizing the, the capabilities and exposing a very uniform interface to our customers. So like you talked about the day zero, day one experience, no new tools, tools required to be learned, it's the same tools that the customers have used, but now they have new capabilities. So it sounds like that's that's the value that VMware is bringing to the table. Right? Yeah, and this is where it aligns with the the notion of operational agility, right? right. You know, we have a, we have customers who um, who source source uh, their hardware from multiple vendors, but they have a they have a standard way of operating their hardware within their environment. How do you bridge that gap? And you know we are coming in to bridge that gap, and we're working with our partner, with our OEM and DPU uh, hardware vendor partners to make sure that the entire story from a customer experience standpoint is seamless. Excellent. Uh, it sounds like we have a lot more to talk about. Uh, we have managed just to scratch the surface. I hope that we have piqued the interest uh, uh, with our listeners and our customers. Uh, we hope to be able to come back another time and take a deeper dive on what are we providing feature functionality wise uh, and how does our roadmap look like and what does our vision look like. So I look forward to having another uh, chat session or a video session with you and some of the technical experts uh, from CIBG. Uh, until then, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in and listening in. 
Um, we will see you on another edition with a deeper dive on DPUs and distributed services engine. Um, until then, take care. And Parag, thanks a lot for joining this chat. Thank you, Raghav. Thank you for having me here. Bye. Bye for now.